Good morning. This is Jeffrey Robson here with you. I've been invited to say a few words about the upcoming Masterworks season and uh, particularly about the program that I'll be conducting in February of next year. I'm incredibly honored and thrilled to be part of a very exciting set of conductors who are going to be working with the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra for this upcoming season. I feel like I'm at a little bit of an advantage being in the know about just how wonderful this group of professional, incredible musicians is that we have here in central Arkansas that uh, all of these guests will be able to work with and produce amazing concerts for our audiences here in Little Rock and, and beyond. Opening the season, of course, we have uh, the world-renowned Joanne Folletta conducting a wonderful, romantic, and sensuous work by Rimsky-Korsakov Scheherazade, which will feature our concertmaster Kirill Laskarov prominently. Um, the second concert is is with uh, another great conductor whom I can't wait to meet, Andrew Grams, doing a program that I'm uh, also really excited about. To um, two highly regarded African-American composers, William Grant Still and Florence Price, who both have Arkansas, specifically Little Rock roots, uh, paired with the Eroica Symphony of Beethoven. I think that's a wonderful combination, and that'll be our Beethoven and Blue Jeans concert in November. Uh, in January, Carolyn Kwan will lead the orchestra in a program of 20th century works, which includes a piece I've been angling to perform for years here, Bartok's Dance Suite. I think our audiences are going to absolutely love that. Uh, and then I'm going to hop on the podium for a Masterworks series uh, featuring my dear friend Andrew Slobish in a piece by English composer Thomas Addis uh, that actually Andrews introduced me to a few years ago, and it's this, this uh, dreamy kind of soundscape piece that features a uh, really intriguing video installation that goes with it and is called In Seven Days and I'm so excited to bring that to our audiences. Uh, on the second half of the program will be the famous piece by uh, French composer Claude Debussy, uh, Prelude to the Afternoon of a Fawn, which is um, another kind of dreamy, otherworldly piece based on a, on a poem, a symbolist poem by Stéphane Mallarmé. And uh, we'll close that program with the last symphony of Jean Sibelius, which uh, is symphony number seven, which is a short symphony all in one movement. And, and together the program uh, is really about the otherworldly possibilities of symphonic sound. And I think it's, it's a unique program and something quite different and, and new that we'll bring to our audiences all in combination. I'm... I'm honored to be part of this group of conductors and can't wait to work with the orchestra on this program. Uh, the season will continue with uh, another good friend of mine, Eric Jacobson, who is going to come and do Berlioz's uh, Symphony Fantastique with an incredible violin soloist, Simone Porter, uh, playing Sassons. And the season will conclude with Vladimir Kulenovich conducting a, another uh, another romantic symphony that I've been angling to have on our series for a while, Schumann's Symphony No. 3 in E-flat major with one of the great openings in all of music. I can't wait to be part of that performance as well. So uh, cheers to everyone who's been a part of putting this season together and to all of you who are going to come enjoy it. Just want to encourage you to Get your tickets now and to support the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra. Come down to the hall, see the amazing audiences and atmosphere that we create here at the Arkansas Symphony, and we'll see you there.